Okay, let's talk about accounts and contacts. So, there are two types of accounts in Salesforce. It can be a business or organization. And it can also be a person accounts. So, what is the difference? A person account represents one individual. Like this part here. If you are doing business with a single person, an individual, you use a special account type. So this is a special account type called person account. The normal type, not the special one, is just an account, like an organization, a business, which can um, have multiple contacts, even a school. For example, Springfield Elementary School have multiple contacts. Principal Skinner and there is all the teachers and all the workers, right? It's all contacts of the same school. The account is the school, Springfield Elementary. So right now we are going to focus on uh, discussing just a normal organizational account and contacts. So let's uh, start by creating uh, the account first here and then uh, a couple of contacts and then we move forward to the um, understand account and contacts relationships. So this is pretty basic. Basically you go to your Salesforce org. I'm going to go to my playground here and then I'm going to click here and maybe go to sales, my sales app. And then on the sales app, I'm going to go to accounts and create a new one. I'm going to create a new account, which is an organization account. We are going to name it Get Cloudy. Copy that. So create a new one, Get Cloudy. And then we have a phone number and account number. Copy that. The phone number is somewhere here. Did I miss it? Where is the phone number? There's a phone number up top here. And then there is the account number 117. Account site is single location. Meaning this is just one origin, not in multiple locations, just one location. So account number is 117, single location account, type is customer direct, customer direct, and then industry is consulting, billing cities, Reno, Nevada, consulting, billing city is here, Reno, Nevada billing state province and that's it so we are creating this new get cloudy account so the account has been created but there are no contacts yet no human associated with this get cloudy organization which is a consulting firm so we want to create a couple of contacts that will associate to the get cloudy um, business so let's create a business contact here. Alan Johnson, sales manager. I'm just going to copy his email here. So basically, I'm going to go to the contacts of the related tab of the account. Contacts and new. So Mr. Alan Johnson. Oops, I'm just going to type it in. And his email is that. And save up oh, sales manager, right? Title sales manager, and then save a new. The second one is marketing manager Liung Chen. Chen, Mr. Chen is a marketing manager and save so that's how you can create contact so now if you go to mr allen johnson here 
This is the contact record. You can see the account name is Get Cloudy, and this is the information for him, and the details and the news if there is a news. But we have to link it and sign to Twitter first. We don't need that. I don't think that will be even um, coming out in the exam for the admin cert. So that's pretty much it for this. That's how you can create um, contacts and accounts. You can track your customer interactions here by the activity history related list. That would be on the related list. And then we don't have activity history, but we can add the activity history here. Or you can see it from here, right? There is nothing here. But if I log, for example, Mr. Allen, we want to call him um, offering new services. Yada, yada, yada. And I'm going to save that. Did I hit the save button? I think I did. No, nope, I haven't. There we go. Now you have uh, an activity history here. We have logged a call. Today is the date. And then you can click there. Description offering new services. So this is the activity history. All right. Let's get the point from here. Basically, we are creating contacts and um, an account. Also, please read through this important back best practices, right? Pretty straightforward. And let's get the point here. The hands on challenge. This is my trailhead playground and launch. Not launch. And check the challenge. Ooh, 500 points. Not bad. Okay, I'll see you on the next video where we talk about understand account and contact relationships. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.